Well, last week I spent seven nights in Spain in a $40 million villa with 28 other people, 20 of them being my clients and the rest being teams and plus ones. And something very interesting happened because there were three of my clients who were doing 50, 80, and 100K a month. And they asked one of my other clients who's doing about 120K a month to kind of teach them a different ad strategy, right? And something that's been working really well for him. And so anyways, like they sat down, we, we, like the five of us kind of sat down. I think there were a couple other people around too. And we started, well, not me, but my client um, who's doing 120, he started just kind of like doing a bit of an audit of each one of those three clients' businesses. And what he found was that, so client one, client two, client three, they all thought they had an ads problem. They all thought they had a leads problem up here. Their ads weren't doing what they thought they should be doing and they weren't getting enough or quali like more qualified leads, right? And that's a really easy scapegoat to cast our blame to when you're running ads. But what we found is that they were all, every single one of them was getting literally like 100 to let's say 200 leads a day, right? Which is pretty solid. And the quality was like, okay. But they were only booking like, two to three calls a day, right? Two to three calls a day. And this was pretty consistent. Obviously the numbers are gonna be a little skewed. Um, I can't remember the, the specifics, that doesn't matter though, but they were all in the same boat, right? And they thought they had an ads problem. But what we identified was that you don't have an ads problem, you just have an appointment setting problem, right? So right here was the actual bottleneck and Every, each one of them had setters. Or sorry, I think uh, two of the three of them had setters. And the setters were only doing like, they're only talking to like 50 people a day. And then this person was only talking to like 20 maybe, right? And just right there, like again, this one's doing about $80,000 a month. This one was doing about $50,000 a month. And this one was doing about um, $100,000 a month, which is crazy, right? Just a big brand there. That's why, um, that definitely helps, but nonetheless, unimportant. So what happened is when we actually looked at the numbers, we identified that, no, no, we don't have a, a lead problem. We're getting one to 200 leads a day, but we're only talking to 50 of them, which is like half to like a quarter of them. So that means like half of our ad spend or three quarters of our ad spend is going to waste because we're not even talking to these people and they weren't and their setters weren't doing any follow-ups either right so what's really important to understand is like each one of these people started below 10k a month right this guy started zero this guy started about i think like 10k a month with me and then uh zero over here as well and what was really really interesting is that you can actually get to a decent spot without having everything absolutely dialed in because the process is like, it, it's simple, not easy, right? So understanding this funnel, if you don't understand this yet, check out the main video pinned to my channel, it breaks it down in a lot more detail and I'm not gonna go into that right now. Um, but it's, it's very simple to grasp and simple to understand, but it's a lot harder to actually put it in action and dial in every single one of these components, right? Because when we're running our business as well, we're, we tend to be very blind. We tend to have blind spots that kind of prevent us from seeing the truth. So each one of these people thought their problem laid up up here and that it was their ads that were the like the thing that was um, keeping them stuck. But then in reality, we're like, no, no, no. <laughs> when we looked at the numbers, it was actually this. It was the appointment setting side of things, right? So um some of the I'll, I'll go over some of the fixes with that right now but basically like you want to make sure you're talking to every single lead and if you're not running ads right now i don't know what the hell you're doing you must hate your coaching business or something or hate money i, I really don't know um especially if you've been watching my channel for a while it's uh it's time to to pull up your socks but nonetheless if you're only talking to 50 out of 100 to 200 leads every single day then you're leaving so much money on the table right and you're only booking two to three calls. Now, one of these as well, they were pitching like 
five to eight calls a day. So it wasn't this guy. It was uh, they were pitching about five to eight calls a day, but only booking two to three. And then they weren't following up with any of these people too, right? So some of the like prescriptions was like <laughs> change the touch points from fifty to like a hundred to two hundred a day, depending on how many leads you get. And not every lead is gonna be good, right? Not every lead is gonna be qualified. That's okay, but some some offers are much easier to see at service level, like at face value, which leads are actually like relatively qualified or like could be. Um, so some are easier than others, and that's just a nuance of the game. And anyways, but 100 to 200 touch points, this doesn't have to be like just brand new conversations. A lot of this is follow-ups, right? So that's another thing, right? It's like, so initial like touch points, crank up the messages and then hit some follow-ups as well. That's going to be massive. Like most of my clients come from follow-ups that we do. And it's very, very clear and simple, right? So what we kind of prescribe to them is like, no, no, keep your ad spend at the same. I think they're spending like a hundred dollars a day or something like that. Right. So it's only like three K a month, which is not a bad return. Um, I could be completely wrong with that. Some of them might be spending a little bit more, but whatever you get the point. Doesn't It's like, so minuscule um, compared to what they're doing. But the reason I want to make this video is to show you that like most of the time, what we think is the problem is actually not the real problem. And that makes it very difficult like interesting for me as I'm coaching my clients because a lot of them think, oh, my ads aren't working, my ads aren't working. It's like, no, 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 <laughs> it's not an ad problem because your ads are bringing in the right people and they're bringing in enough of them, right? So they're actually doing their job. Most of the time, it's a setting problem. It could be like a content thing too. That maybe they don't have a VSL, maybe they don't have retargeting ads up yet, um, or their content just sucks and they're not good on camera because they're not very experienced and that's okay right that kind of comes with time but a lot of times like, you can kind of bypass that almost with like a really good setting process right so um it becomes very like much easier to book a ton of calls and to sign a lot of clients when you have that dialed in because with this the closing rate was about 40 percent right so sales reps closing about 40 percent you're getting, let's say, just to keep it simple, 100 plus leads a day, but only booking like two to three calls a day, max. Like sometimes, sometimes it's like one or like zero, which is nuts, right? And what they thought was like, oh, I have a really good setter, right? But then in reality, it's like, well, do you, right? Because if you're only booking, it was like one to three calls or like one to two, honestly. Like it was, it was not as good as this, but they were pitching lots, but they're not actually like doing anything with them. They weren't actually booking, right? So that was a huge bottleneck right there. We're like, okay, we gotta we gotta fix that, right? So um, we identified that setting was the bottleneck. First of all, they weren't messaging all of the leads. Second of all, they were pitching lots of calls, but then not actually booking them, right? And they weren't doing any follow-ups. They weren't following up with anybody. So like a very quick immediate fix you could do right now to make a disgusting amount of money is literally just go back over the last like six months in your business and follow up with every single person you've had a conversation with that's left you on red. When I hired a new setter, he said, Jeremy, you can turn your ads off for the next month at least. So I'm just going to follow up with people. And that is what he did. My old setter struggled to book three to four calls a week. Now my new setter books four to five calls a day, which is nuts, consistently, basically every day. So how does that happen, right? First of all, the follow-ups, right? Follow up with everybody that you've talked to in the last, like even like six to, let's say six to 12 months, however long you've been doing this, like any lead you can talk to, like do it, follow up with them, touch base with them, lead with value, right? Give them some stuff. But then also it comes down to the um, the post pitching process, right? So following up starts the conversations. And then when you get to the pitch, right? Five to eight, like this is a horrible conversion rate. This is like less than 50%. It's only like, I don't know, like 30 maybe percent, which sucks, right? And 30, 40%, whatever. Um, but uh Right there, again, follow up with those people, 
right? So follow up with people that you've talked to in the last six to 12 months. Follow up with people that you've pitched calls to. That's another huge one where there's just, it's just so much low hanging fruit right there, right? And then in terms of like the actual conversation themselves, like there's a few ways you can go about it, right? One, you can lead with value. So they're like, hey man, put, a, put together this new training and um, based on our last combo, I know you kind of had these issues or whatever. Um, I think this could really help. Let me know if you want me to send the link, All right? And make sure this thing's actually valuable, right? Make sure it doesn't just suck and you're not just trying to sell them. That's important. Um, another one could be, so it could be like a video. Um, it could be like an interview with a successful client that is actually relevant to the person you're talking to, right? So if I'm speaking with a fitness coach and I can send them one of my ungodly amount of YouTube interviews with some of my fitness coaching clients, right? Because it, especially if they started, if one, like if my client that I had the interview with started at the same income range that this person I'm talking to is at, then it's going gonna, it's gonna to hit really hard and show them what's possible, right? Um, another thing you can do like <clears throat> with this, with the, uh, so that's kind of like to get the conversations going, right? Lead with value. Um, it could literally just be like a simple, like, um, don't say like, oh, hey man, just checking in, just following up, like just touching bait. Like that's such a lazy way to follow up with people. Um, but if, if you haven't talked to them in months, like, Hey dude, how was the summer? Right. How's the business been? Or like, how's the, uh, how's the fitness journey over the summer still, and then insert problem or whatever. Right. Or are you still looking to do this or something like that? Right. Um, and then that way you can kind of generate the combo and, and get that rock and rolling a little bit more. Right. Um, for the people that, uh, you pitched a call, didn't book a couple things you could do literally just like the up arrow and then like a question mark. Um, that's one. Sometimes it works. Sometimes uh, what you can do is talk about like the availability, right? So <clears throat> um, basically like, hey man, um, just open up some new slots in the calendar. Let me know if something like that works for you. Or three, you can do manual booking, which is something we do a lot of actually. It's like, hey dude, um, I've got a slot open tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern. Or like another one at like, maybe you give them a couple options, right? Um, and then from there, like just be like, yeah, hey, I've got a couple slots open tomorrow and Thursday at uh, 2 p.m. and 4 p.m. Eastern. Which one works best for you? We can lock it down. I'd love to chat. And then boom, right? So a few ways you can do that. But really, I mean, at the end of the day, the main takeaway is like, let's just say for uh, all three of these clients, to be honest, was like, number one, Increase daily touch points in the DMs. Number two, follow up with conversations. And of course, like there's going to be people that are closer to the money down here than people up here. Like if, if nobody has replied to your first, like, or if, if there's somebody who hasn't replied to like your first, like three messages, it's like, sure, you can send them another one, but like they're probably not interested, right? But if somebody like you had a conversation with or you've had multiple conversations with, they're a little bit warmer. They're a little bit closer to the money, right? Further down the funnel. So prioritize those people, right? Follow up with people that you pitched calls to that didn't book and follow up with people who you had a good conversation with, but they didn't reply. Either they didn't open the message or they left you on red or something like that, right? That's totally normal. Don't take it personally. Um, and then literally with like those two tweaks right there, that is, and again, this just happened literally last week, but like, Imagine if they just like try to double their ad spend and now they're wasting even more money, getting way more leads. And they're like, oh, it's it's a lead problem. Whereas in reality, it's just a it's just a sales, like a setting problem in the bottom of their funnel, right? Um, so just this one tweak alone can help them. Like these people are gonna blow past like 120, 130K a month easily, like easily. And it really comes down to kind of just like the standards that you hold for your team, right? Because obviously at this point, like you, you should have a setter. If you don't, I don't know what the hell you're doing and props to you. Like, um, it's possible. I mean, I got, well, no, that's a lie. I didn't, uh, I had a setter when I blew past these ones. Um, but nonetheless, uh, yeah, props to you if you're doing that solo. I don't know how, but good, good on you. 
most love the DMs. I don't, so that's why I don't uh, <clears throat> recommend people have or spend too much time in there, especially when you got a business run, right? And it's such an important money-making activity that you want somebody in there that can actually be in there full-time, right? So, um, yeah, these people are going to absolutely explode. Same with this person. They don't even have a setter. It's just all inbound, kind of just chilling, right? Um, which is sweet. But nonetheless, you want to make sure, like the moral of the story of the video is you want to make sure that you identify the right problem because once you identify and can actually articulate the real problem, it's half solved, right? You're already halfway there. So now what these people need to do and what they're, they're going to do, because uh, this is one of their main takeaways from the mastermind that we did in Marbella is that they need to hold their team members to a higher standard, but they also didn't really know what that standard was. So it wasn't set very well from the start, which means that it, uh, if it wasn't set from the start, then like your team members are probably just going to do the bare minimum, probably just going to coast, maybe do what's was comfortable for them, right? They're probably making a few grand a month and like, that's sweet, right? But you want to make sure that you have somebody in there who's going to be an absolute killer, a savage, who's going to be in there, like who's going to work harder than you, who's going to work more than you, who's going to be better at it than you. And that's how you're going to make a ton of money, right? So this person, like both these, all these people are just going to explode right now. Um, so chances are you'll be seeing a interview with them on my channel very soon, right? So I won't drop any names, but uh, you'll be able to figure out who it was um, when we do those interviews in a few months because, yeah, these people are about to blow the hell up. Um, so moral of the story, make sure that uh, you can correctly identify and diagnose your problems so that way you can actually solve the right problem the right way. Because a lot of people try to would try to solve the wrong problem. That's what all three of these people did when they asked my other client um, to teach them how to run different, like a different funnel, different ads, right? And he was like, hey, you guys don't actually have an ad problem. You just have a setting problem. So don't try and solve the wrong problem. Try to solve the right problem. Sometimes we're blind to it. That's why I have a ton of mentors. They have spent like 150K this year just on like mentorship um, because... I don't know what I'm doing to get to the next level, right? But I do know what it takes to get to these. And that's why these people have all seen a lot of growth. Um, and again, it's not easy. Like growing a business sucks. It's it's not fun. Well, it, it can be really fun actually um, if you do it right. But, and if you're doing the right thing, but it's not easy, right? And like, I have a lot of blind spots myself and that's okay. But that's why I have people that have done what I'm trying to do. Just tell me what I need to do. And then it makes it just much smoother and much more enjoyable process and everybody wins. So that said, that's it for the video. Make sure that you identify the right problem. Uh, if you're running ads, you have a lot of traffic coming through. Um, chances are you have a setting problem and you might have a setter who you think is good, but they might not actually be that good. So look into their stats, identify their numbers, look at them for the last 30 days and try to identify where something's going wrong, right? Uh, obviously you might not know, which is um, totally okay. But if they, if like they're pitching five day calls, but only booking two to three, that's a problem. Uh, if they're only talking to half or a quarter of the leads that you're getting every day, that means you're wasting half or three quarters of your ad spend. And you could be absolutely exploding your business. Cause let's say if, if all we did is just double this, uh, the booking rate right here. So, so we're still pitching five day calls, right? Let's say we didn't even, uh, let's say we didn't even increase it from 50 to hundred people conversations, right? Let's say all we did was increase the, the booking rate. So to from like five to eight to four to six or yeah, five to eight uh, pitched and then four to six booked all of a sudden right there, we're booking twice as many calls. If, if this stays the same, then that means they're doing 160 K next month, right? By tweaking one little variable. Let's say this this doubles too. Talk to 100 people a day instead of 50. And then all of a sudden we had four to six calls a day when this doubled. Now this goes to eight to 12, right? And we had 80K a month to 160K a month. And then that doubles again, right? Now they're doing 320K a month. 
So when you look at the numbers, business becomes very simple. Obviously, it's much harder to do this in execution. Um, and I know we're kind of getting a little messy here on the whiteboard, but um, it's much harder to do it when like in execution, which is similar to anything you do, right? And that's okay. But nonetheless, like most people I see that are running ads who think they have an ad problem, they actually, in fact, just have a setting problem. So look at uh, either your numbers, if you're in the DMs right now, look at the numbers of your setters right now and try to figure out, okay, where is my real bottleneck? What is the real problem that I'm trying to solve right now? That's how you're going to get to 100K a month and beyond. It's not going to be just like blasting more ads. It's going to be like getting your ads to the point where they're bringing in a lot of the right people every day. But then you have to make sure every other piece of the funnel is extremely efficient and is working very, very effectively. Otherwise, your machine will not be running smoothly and efficiently. It's going to be really clunky. It's going to be like an engine trying to run out or run without oil. And you're just going to try to just like step on the gas pedal harder and things are going to break very, very quickly. And then you're not going to be very profitable. Your ROAS is going to be very low and you're not going to have a lot of fun. Uh, and you're going to question and doubt a lot of things. So I don't want that to happen to you. So hopefully you got some value from the video. Um, again, if you wanted to, um, you want to like go way deeper into the weeds and master appointment setting, I've got a video on my channel um, that I posted back in March. Um, I'll link it uh, right now on the screen, but um, it is my client success manager, Eduardo, diving deep with one of my clients and his setter on a call and helping them literally like double their business the following month um, just by going through the DMs and dialing things in there. So um, if you want to learn how to do this on a very tactical level, check out that video. It's a longer training. Like it's literally just a, a recording of a Zoom call. It, it's like an hour or two, um, but we go very, very deep. So if you have a setter, make sure they watch that video. Um, but if you don't, or if you want to just get better at leading your setters, you can train them, then watch that video as well. It's going to give you a ton of value and help you make a ton of money. So that's what we're all here, here to do is so we can help more people. And aside from that, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.